Just a few more bugs to squash. Bugs where? Where? Holly, you're being silly. Computer bugs. Bible oh. bot's been giving me a rough time. Oh man, well, I'm really glad they're not real bugs because real bugs are kind of creepy, but what do you mean by rough time? Watch this. Hey, Bible bot. What day is Christmas? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. See? Well, yeah, I guess I could see how that uh, bugs you. <laughs> I am not impressed. Well, okay, I'm, I'm sure you'll figure something out. I mean, you do have a real talent for computers. Thank you, but I really need to get this figured out before uh, uh, story time. Whoa, okay, no more coffee, Michelle. Come on, we, talk, we talked about this. Hello and welcome everybody to Trinity Kids. It's Michelle and Holly back at it again. We are so stoked to have you join us yet again for the last week of our series, Wonder. Okay, I think I finally fixed the bugs. Let me try. BibleBot, what are we missing? Error, you are not missing anything. I guess it's not fixed. Let's try one more time. BibleBot, what are we missing? The Trinity Kids values, of course. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Say them with, with us. First, love Jesus because God is love and he loved us first. Second, love others because God loves all people. Third, change the world because it's not only about us. Fourth, have fun because God gives us joy. <laughs> well, I guess in the end, Bible Bot did come through for us. I mean, it is his only job so he better well of course well today we're going to be talking all about the gifts that god has given us which leads us to wonder what gifts has god given you bible bot can you tell me what is first john first john is a bible man well you need a little Recalibration. Uh, do you think you can hurry it up? We have to get to the Bible story. So last week we talked all about how we can learn from others. And I'm really excited because this week we're going to be talking about how uh, we can learn about the gifts God has given us. Okay, but I need to get this worked out first. Okay, okay, chill, deep breath. <sighs> We've got this, you've got this. All right. Approximately 10 hours later, it's ready. Let's do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome back, Bible Lab researchers. Holly and Michelle are here once again, and we're going to work together and find the answer to the question of the day. Once we collect all of our data, we can draw a conclusion about our initial question. So here we go. So step one is today's big idea. I wonder what gifts God has given me. When we say gifts, we're not really talking about anything that can come in a box or a bag, but God's gifts are usually things that we are good at or we really enjoy doing that can help others. Hey, Michelle. Can you name some gifts for us that people may have? And remember, God's gifts are different from abilities and talents. Well, you see, you can have encouragement, like cheering on your friends at a soccer game. You can have leadership, which would be helping out your friends and family. Serving, so helping out your mom, dad, brother or sister without being asked. Giving, so that would be sharing your toys or that last cookie in oh, the cookie jar. That one's really hard. <laughs> or it could be searching. If you're not quite sure what your gift is yet, as you collect data, you can figure out what gifts you have. And remember, you can always ask your parents for help. Wow, that's kind of like what we're doing right now. Kind of. That's so awesome. All right, so let's go on to step two. Let's collect some more of that data and uh, we're gonna see what's in the Bible. Hey, Bible. 
double bot. Can you tell me what it says in 1 Peter 4.10? Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Wow, that verse tells us to use our gifts as stewards of God's grace. Do you guys remember last week, uh, last time we learned about God's grace? And if you don't quite recall, you can always check out the video uh, Michelle and I were in, What Makes My Story Unique? Grace is a gift that we don't deserve, right? Yeah. That means that gifts from God should be used in the same way that they've been given to us, freely and graciously. God gave us our abilities for a reason, and it's to help others. BibleBot, what does it say in 2 Timothy 1.6? For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God. Wow, see? We already know what God has given us, and He's given us all these gifts, and we're to use them to serve others. See, in 2 Timothy 1.6, Paul is actually writing to Timothy, and he's trying to remind him of his gift, and he's telling him to stir it up or fan the flames. Uh, so just like we have to fan a fire back to life, that's kind of what Paul was trying to let Timothy know. So his gifts didn't burn out. You see, Timothy was considered young for what he was supposed to be doing, but that didn't stop him from using his gifts to serve others. And you can do the same. So we're on to step three already. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, so what can we conclude about our question? I wonder what gifts God has given me. No matter what your gift is, God wants you to use it to serve others. Just like Paul and Timothy use their own gifts from God to serve others, you can use your gifts too. You know what, Michelle? This just gave me a really cool idea for a really fun experiment. That's awesome. I love experiments. <laughs> well, okay, we need to get some ingredients first. So why don't we go get that and we will be right back. Oh yeah, Come let's on. go. <laughs> Okay, so Michelle, while you were out crushing the bugs and Bible Bot, I decided to get a little crafty with some eggs. These don't look like normal eggs. You are correct, my friend. So these aren't exactly normal eggs. You see, I have created Easter egg bombs. <laughs> well, what exactly are in these things? Okay, okay, so yeah, th there's not just normal things in there. I've put two ingredients in there. Can you can you guess what it is? Glitter. No, no, I'm <sighs> I'm I'm not that evil. No, guys, if you remember, uh, in your box, you combined two ingredients to make a chemical reaction, and that was vinegar and baking soda. So that's what we're doing in our eggs today. So we're gonna take uh, our eggs. We've got two little eggs in there. We've got the plastic one and then a little smaller one. And we're gonna fill it with vinegar in the bottom there and baking soda in the top there. All right, so gotta be careful about pouring this one. I would hate for it to get everywhere. <laughs> Should we yeah. add a color to it? Yeah, what, what color are you thinking? We've got red, Ooh. yellow, blue, and green. Well, green is in your hand, so <laughs> okay. I think that's a sign. That's a sign. Oh man, a few, push, a few drops in there. That's the perfect amount of green. I know. <laughs> so what's next? Next, we have uh, the most dangerous part of our experiment, which is adding the baking soda. So you want to make sure you get it in that little egg cup. You said it was dangerous. Yeah, so do you want your goggles for safety, guys? Safety first, everybody. <laughs> uh, do you want me to hold the cup for you? Uh, sure. Here, I'll hold it, you pour it. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. They say that you should get adults to do things um, if you don't think you can do it yourself. So that's why I'm making Holly do it. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. So now you probably are thinking, where am I going with this, right? So guys, our gifts kind of work very similarly to what we're doing here. They're inside of us, but uh, when we use them with God and we use them to serve other people, we cause an amazing reaction. And I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. So Michelle, close that up. 
and I've got an egg for myself here. You're gonna hold it really, really, really tight. Okay. Safety goggles. Oh yeah, thank you. Safety first, Holly. Safety first. That's always our motto in the Trinity Kids Lab. Okay, and we're gonna <laughs> turn these over on the count of three. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three. You know what? <laughs> I would call that a successful <laughs> experiment. Okay, yeah. So, the baking soda and the vinegar mixed together to create that amazing explosion. And this is kind of how our gifts work. So when we form a relationship with God, like the baking soda and vinegar, it causes an amazing explosion. And our gifts reach everyone around us. God gives us an opportunity to serve others with the gifts like encouragement, leadership, serving, giving, and finally searching. Just like we've learned these past three weeks, God makes our stories unique. He encourages us to learn from others, and He gives us gifts to share with the people around us. Let's take a moment and answer our two questions for the day, and then we'll look at this week's challenge. Okay. So question one, what are we supposed to do with the gifts God has given us? Question two, what could you do to grow in your gifts? And finally, our challenge. This week, when you put on your shoes, pray this prayer. God, help me to use my gift to serve someone this week. Bot, what time is it? It's challenge time. E e bru a a a a s s s s s s s s s s s w e e e woo w e e e woo blah la 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 error error. Bible bot powering down. There goes Bible bot. Do you uh? Do you know what he was gonna explain to us? I think he was gonna explain to us our challenge time. Cool. How does it work? So. We are going to be playing cornhole, which means we have these handy dandy little bean bags here. And we're gonna be trying to get them into the holes. If we get them in the hole, it's worth two points. If we land it on the board, we get one point. At the end, uh, one of us is going to demonstrate just what makes us special based on the special prompts we get from the points we receive. I'm not gonna lie, I have super good aim, so I've already won this, I think. They don't call me uh, throw things well Holly for nothing. All right. It's well, totally my nickname. Let's get started then. <laughs> okay. All right, throw things well Holly. How about you go first? Oh no. <laughs> oh. All Just right. Saying. Two Kay. points. You got this. I believe in you. Ooh. Still believe in you. Okay. Going for the uh, bottom hole. Mm. Or the ground. You know the bottom hole is right there. I did. I did. All I, right. I'm trying to understand your strategy here. If I told you my strategy, then you would know my strategy. Mm. <laughs> my right. strategy is being perfect. Let's switch side, tally points, and keep going, huh? All right. All right. Okay. So I have two, four, three points. I have one point. All right, so I got two in the hole, so I get two challenge cards, and I'm gonna check them. I don't have a pocket. I'm gonna hold on to them, and then we're gonna reveal them at the end here. All right, so okay. I think it's my turn to go first this yeah, time. Yeah, I'll be a good sport. Okay. Oh, nice. goal! <laughs> This one's just slippery. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I believe in you. Mm. Ah, so close. <laughs> okay. Ready? Okay, let's Kay. go. Let's switch. All right. So it looks like I got one on and one in, which means that's another three points, which brings me to four. 
and I get my first card. I got two points. <laughs> Thank Plus you. Plus five, seven. so seven. Yeah, um, I'm a scientist, not a mathematician. All right, I'll give you that one. <laughs> All right, so I think I win this round. Yes. Yeah, so yes, I win this do. challenge. But the most fun part about this challenge is reading off our little traits. So, you know what? I think this fits me pretty well, Michelle. I am playful, creative, and pure. Okay, okay. Well, I think this one describes me right now. I'm cranky because I <laughs> lost. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us for challenge time. We had a lot of fun, didn't we, Michelle? <laughs> we did. Yeah. So we are packing up the Trinity Kids Lab, but fear not, there's a really exciting new series coming at you next week. So keep an eye out and uh, you'll get to see some really fun new things. So thank you so much for joining us. Again, I am Holly. This is Michelle. We are part of the Kid Trinity Kids team. And we want you to remember that we love you very much. Bye, guys. See you later. Hey, Trinity Kids. It's time for another box breakdown. This is our last weekend in our box for April. And we're so excited for this last activity. We're going to be building creatures in two different ways. So if you are a K-3, to three, you have... We'll see this cool bag inside of your box with all these cool things like balloons and popsicle sticks and little wooden pieces and googly eyes, all the things. And build yourself a little creature and then have fun using your creature and place them on different spiritual gifts that we have defined here for you. And just explore and experience all the gifts with your creature. Don't forget to talk about a questions. Find a grown up in your house. Talk about all the things on the bottom here. And then we'll jump to preteen. Preteen, you guys are going to go to scratch.mit.edu and create a scratch video character that you animate out using one of your gifts. So create a situation where someone can encourage someone or serve others or give, giving others and create your character and make him do these things through coding on this website. All the instructions are there. There's a tutorial for you. And so thanks guys. I hope you're having fun following along, enjoying this box this month, and we can't wait for what's next in the Maybox. Bye.